Millions of dollars of tourism tax funds are up for grabs right now for some of the biggest venues in Orange County. And Fox 35's Jessica Ely is live outside the Amway Center tonight. So, Jessica, tomorrow we'll finally hear how some of that money could finally be split up. Yeah, John, and there's a lot of money up for grabs. So I'm actually at the Amway Center because this is one of the many venues in Orange County that is hoping to get at least a little bit of that tax fund. On Monday, the Citizens Task Force met for the final time to hear additional recommendations on how to spend tourist tax dollars. Tomorrow, they'll present that information to the Tourist Development Council. Then, they'll decide on how to split up more than 300 million bucks. We don't have enough dollars to do everything uh, and meet the needs of every one of those organizations uh, that uh, came before uh, the task force, but we are going to move the needle. The task force wants to give some of that money to Florida City sports for a new roof at Camping World Stadium that'll cost about $800 million. It'll be every bit a 65, 66,000 seat stadium that'll compete with any across the country in our opinion. Amway Center renovations will cost over $250 million and the construction of a sports village at UCF will take around $176 million. Bucks. As we prepare to welcome our new friends from the Big 12 in the coming months, we believe that enhanced world-class facilities for athletics will position us uniquely so that everyone will remember their visit to Orlando. There is some opposition on the proposed allocation of funds. Some think the money should be used on things like affordable housing and transportation. Oftentimes we reinvest in the same entities in Orange County because they do draw large amounts of tourism. Um, but we forget that there are a lot of other economic links that supply those products. The task force did agree on a proposal that will ask the state to change the criteria for how tourism dollars are used in the future. And they may seem like policy wonky type of things, but those are important distinctions that are going to move the needle just a little bit further. So I did reach out to Florida Citrus Sports, UCF Athletics, and even here at the Amway Center to see uh, what they would do if they do not receive the money that they are hoping for. But none of them got back to me before the story aired. From the Amway Center, Jessica Ely, Fox 35 News. 